Hello, 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 hello. Is this thing on? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing over here. I think I'm a little discombobulated. 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 I think I messed up. So, uh, yeah. Uh, hi. How y'all doing? I have this other one here now today. Got this one. I don't know if you call it unboxed, but uh, got a little paper off of it and all that. And uh, this is the other. Uh, this is the one that was just over $100. I believe it was $108, $109. Um, and then, yeah, somebody asked about shipping. The shipping is about $40, $45 for each one. So it's like, you know, when you buy an $80 guitar and it's like $45 shipping, you go, at least in my brain, my brain breaks on that kind of stuff, man. Because it's like, really, really, $89 and I got to pay more than half, like half the price to sh Wait, something's wrong here, you know, so I go a little bit weird on that. Anyway, that's kind of why I bought two. So it didn't seem as bad. Um, for the shipping prices i don't know why it didn't seem as bad because it was the same price anyway but um for this thing i i just this was i i when i was in it i used to call myself hardware whore just because i loved all the hardware that was inside didn't really care what the functionality was wanted more power i was like tim allen more power more power so when i looked at this one i loved all the specs on it reverse headstock I don't know why I'm digging these things, but the reverse headstock was one of them. I was like, wow. And then it's got the two humbuckers um, with the wiggle stick. And um, yeah, they're, they're, they're not passive. They're not, uh, they are passive. They're not the active. There's no, um, it's all matte black. There's no uh, battery anywhere. So, um, you know, it's just, uh, it's just, you know, regular pickups with a cover on it. Um, so two humbuckers. Um, I have not taken it apart yet, but uh, maybe, you know, for a modern kind of thing, maybe, just maybe, there'll be uh, four wire humbuckers and then I can maybe do a little coil split and that would be cool. But yeah, there's no, um, how they keep it so cheap, there's not really any inlays on here at all on a, for, you know, for any of the fret, except on the side there are, you know, dot markers so you know where you are. Um, and I don't remember what they called this, but to me, I don't know if y'all can see that very well. Um, that uh, that that inlay, I think they call it like a claw thing. To me, it kind of looks more like a, a Klingon bat left. And so I'm gonna call this my Klingon bat left guitar. I don't know why, but uh, you know, because I used to be a nerd and uh, well, still am. I, I'm not giving back my card yet. I'm not done yet. And I, I, when I was start, starting to, starting this video, I was like, I don't know what kind of song I want to play here. And now why it's not coming out very well right now. But you, you've heard about Love and Giving Sight to the Blind, right? about it while I was playing that why am I playing an American song on a guitar that just came from Germany shouldn't I be playing something like sticks very much but... this one's not so bad and I, I only use it for a couple of songs I mean it's... Yeah. This, 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 this. 
that um you know i'm coming kind of having fun with it. i i the only reason i started playing with it was because you got to break them in so you know i just started playing with it gotta hit the tuner again but you know Not bad for a wiggle stick. Anyways, this is a very fun guitar. It's just, like I said, just over $100. And uh, all I've done so far is lower the action and not get all the plastic off of the uh, covers. You probably see that on there. I didn't get all the plastic off there. Oops. Um, but uh, yeah, man, it's been fun to play. Just lowering the, uh, the, the action on it. Um, it's been super fun to play. It's got a little bit of a scratchy, but you know, it's an inexpensive guitar, so. I can do a little fret work. I can do a little polishing, you know, making sure everything's cool, flatten, you know, uh, leveling, uh, crowning, and all that other good stuff. I can do that and uh, change strings on it. Uh, probably these are uh, nine, to, 9 to 46. I will probably try to put my 10 to 56s on it. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll work, but for a kind of metal guitar. That's how I think I want it to be. So, um, yeah, man. Uh, these are good guitars, the Harley Bentons. Uh, they're 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 you know inexpensive, but they're they're well put together. So, um, can't say anything bad about them right now. Maybe in the future, but right now they're they're very good. And uh, um, yeah, man. I hope y'all was having a great day. Um, uh, I'm getting along with my my cancer stuff here and uh, figuring stuff out as I go and. Uh, Getting ready for next week. I get to go back under the chemo. Yay, yay, yay. Um, get to go to a concert before then. No, I'll get to see Bruce Springsteen. Why I never saw him in New Jersey, perform in New Jersey. I don't know. I, I well, He used to come into where I worked all the time. I used to work at this place called Danny's Pizza and Subs in Little Silver, New Jersey. And uh, hey, Dan, if you're watching. Um, but uh, the he used to come in all the time. Bruce did. And he used to come in with a different muscle car, like 60s, early, you know, the 60s muscle cars, early 70s, beautiful cars used to come in all in the different one every time. And uh, he was just quiet. He was a nice guy, you know. Um, anyways, I uh, hope you all are having a great day. Always look up. He's there for you. Um, and I'll see you then. Peace.